Yeah, I mean, uh, um, is this working? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been really good. I've been able to hit with a couple players and kind of, I guess, feel the nostalgia again. But I'm um, super excited to be back, and it's it's been really fun so far. Okay, if you'd like to get started with the first question. David? Hi, Naomi. Uh, David Law from the Tennis Podcast. You mentioned feel the nostalgia. Could you give a couple of examples of the sort of thoughts that have come into your head since being back? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, like, one thing, it's it's kind of minor, but I love, like, the comfort of it. But I guess just going into the locker room and um, having the same locker as before, I think little things like that really make me happy. And just being able to hit on Rod Laver and, I guess, look up at the the sky and kind of just realize like I've been able to win twice here and I would love to do it again um but yeah I, I feel like this tournament or this slam is the one that changes the most but there are some things that stay the same so those are the things that I think give me the most nostalgia okay next question Courtney yeah. Naomi welcome back hi hi <laughs> <laughs> Um, just in terms of getting to hit, you were hitting with Ons today um, and getting to get more reps against other WTA players over the last couple of weeks. How have you been feeling in those sessions with your level, with, um, yeah, just getting a sense as to where you're at? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, playing in Brisbane was a really good test. Um, I think... I honestly think that my mat my both of my matches were a higher level than the rankings indicate, and I definitely think my match against Pliskova was <laughs> really high level. I feel like whenever I play her, it's always about the serve, and I don't really consider her ranking when I play her, if that makes sense. Like, she's a former number one, so there's a level that she can play um, that I don't really think indicates with her ranking, but also, like... I hit with um, Amanda here, and you know how she is, so um, we were kind of trading returns and serves, and Ons, of course, is... Ons makes me feel embarrassed because of the shots that she can play, and I'm like, wow, like, I wish I could do all those things, but um, yeah, it was really fun to hit against them, and I was super happy they let me hit with them, too, so... Um, yeah, it's been a learning experience, but I also think I'm pretty confident with where I'm at right now. Okay, we'll go with Matt and then Russell. Matt, over there. Hi, Naomi. You've Hi. been away for almost three weeks now. How has it how how has it been? Uh, has it been hard? Oh, from shy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's definitely been really hard. I think she's learning things while I'm gone, and I'm hoping she doesn't learn how to crawl. Um, before I come back, but she's doing her little like plank thing and scooting forward and back, so I think it might be a little inevitable. But uh, yeah, um, I I think I'm I'm definitely sad, but I feel like it's a selfish sad because I want her to be here. But I think for like her health and like everything that like her whole environment is in at home, you know what I mean. So I don't want to put her out of that while she's still so young. So. Yeah, I, I face her time her often, though, so. Okay, we'll go Russell and then Jemani. Russell? Naomi, how did you feel after playing those matches in Brisbane and being back in a match environment for the first time in 15 months? Has there been a bit of stiffness and a bit of soreness? Have you had to <laughs> be careful about the training sessions that you organize? Um, there has been stiffness and soreness, but honestly, not as bad as I was expecting. Um, because usually, even without having gone through like post-pregnancy, I I'm normally very sore on the first um, tournament back. So I thought it would be one of those things where after I played my first match in Brisbane, I would have to like <laughs> call my team and be like, hey, I cannot practice today. Um, but no, it, it ended up really fine. And I think my body's um, quite adaptable. So I've been, I think, doing pretty well. Okay, Jemani. Hi, Naomi. Um, Hola. Hello. <laughs> um, a, a lot of players have been coming back um, this year and also last year. And a, a lot of them say that they're feeling refreshed and more relaxed on the court. I'm curious, like, from your perspective, how does being away from the tour make you feel better on the court? Um, I mean, 
You know me, I've taken a lot of breaks throughout the years, and I feel like for me, I I think this one was the one that finally clicked in my head. Um, I think I realized, like, being an athlete, the time is really precious, and I never, like, took that for granted before, if that makes sense. Like, I was so young, and I always just thought I could kind of roll back into it whenever I needed to, but I guess, like, after having shy and kind of going through the struggle of trying to get myself back to where I want to be, it was incredibly tough. So I, I have like a much more positive mindset and a much more grateful mindset. And I think overall, I'm just happy to be here because I remember last year I was watching people playing Australian Open and I couldn't participate myself. So yeah, and it was funny, I, I'm talking a lot, but um, I was sitting with Ons today and I was thinking in my head, like, we've come a long way from Singapore, so, yeah. Okay, Eleanor and then Courtney. Oh. Hi there, Amy. You Hi. said that you're happy to be here, but at the same time, you know, you've achieved so much here and, and in other places. Is it hard at all to give yourself time to not expect too much of yourself once you get back on that court and maybe those old feelings come back? Yeah, I mean, definitely um, it is it is hard because I do think of like all the amazing memories that I've had. But I I also think in my head, like, who am I to just come back in the second tournament and expect so much from myself, especially against the best players in the world? And um, even hitting today with ons, like I caught myself getting a little disappointed in myself when I would make some mistakes. But I'm hitting against ons, you know, and um, I think it's just one of those things where um, I now think to myself, like, I have to give myself a lot of time and patience. Okay, Courtney. Uh, yeah, we're speaking of a long way since Singapore, uh, Caroline Garcia in the first round. Um, can you talk about what your reaction was seeing that that was your first round? <laughs> Did you not know? No, I knew it, just okay. that transition. What a Courtney transition. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Improved um, since the last time, but uh, yeah, just what is what were your was your reaction to drawing her, and what do you think of that as a first rounder for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely tough. Of course, um, she's seated. I, whenever I play her, I always think like she's an incredible player. She has every shot that a top five player needs, and um, I don't know. I like my immediate thought was okay. This is tough, but. Um, I definitely think I can achieve what I want to achieve. And hopefully um, during the match, I'm able to, I guess, have things go my way. But um, yeah, in a weird way, I'm glad I'm playing a seed so that hopefully like, if I get through that, the next match won't be as difficult. All right, I think we'll switch to national language now. Yes, go ahead. メルボルンの空港に着いたら一番最初に目に飛び込んできたのがオーストラリアオープンのポスターでノバックやイガトコじゃなくて大阪さんが一番大きく映ってましたそういったあの自分の注目度っていうのは予想していたものですかフォーマ
Yeah, I think um, I've had a lot of things that I've definitely wanted to improve. Um, one of them, I'm trying to figure out if I should tell you, but it's not a secret. Yeah, one of them's like my return for sure. Um, I think my match against Pliskova kind of showed me that I have a really good serve, but if my return can just be like 10% better, I, I think I had a lot of break points then. So just to convert like three of them, would have made the match a whole lot different. So I really tried to focus on my return. I tried to focus on my backhand a lot now. Hitting with Anisimova and trading backhands was really fun. Um, yeah, honestly, like I can go on and on about stuff that I want to, I guess, perfect. And I can almost say like it's everything, but those are probably the two things right now. Um, I'm definitely thinking this year that I want to play a lot of tournaments. Um, I might go back to the schedule I had when I was like 18 or something, but um, I think right now I really need to play a lot of matches and it'll probably condition me to at least have a really good end of the year. And for me right now, my schedule's kind of packed with the tournaments that I want to play. えっと、子供生まれた女性がその元のボディシェイプに戻すのに結構時間かかるって聞いたんですけども、大阪男子体は今そのまあ、前のボディシェイプにどのぐらい戻ってるか、レースで少し重さを感じるとかいうことはあります